All right, so for our first warm up, we have um, plaintiff attorney Ms. Slivka and defense attorney Mr. Walton uh, to identify. I am Ms. Slivka for plaintiff. I am the witness. I'm the court. I'm Mr. Walton for defense. And I'm sorry. This begins with the court. For the record, courts convened in the matter of People versus Richard Gilbert, a liar. Mr. Liar is represented by Mr. Walton. Ms. Slivka for the people. Any preliminary motions? No, Your Honor, just to exclude potential witnesses. Okay, whenever you're ready, Ms. Slivka. Thank you, Your Honor. At this time, people would call Officer Boyas. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you God. I do. Please take the witness stand. State your full name. Spell your last name for the record. Jeff Boyes, B-O-Y-E-S. Thank you. Good morning, Officer Boyes. Officer, by whom are you employed? Sacramento County Sheriff's Department. And in what capacity? I'm a deputy sheriff. For how long have you been so employed? About 12 years. And were you working on March 13th, 1990? Yes, I was. Do you recall what shift you were working? We work a swing shift from 3 in the afternoon until 1 in the morning. And were you working alone or with a partner that evening? I was working with a partner. And who was your partner? Michael Plessis, P-L-E-S-S-A-S. -S -S. Were you working in a marked patrol unit? No, I was not. What were you working in? I was driving a, a brown Chevy Caprice that was unmarked. And were you in uniform? No, I was not. What was your assignment that evening? We were working in the south area of Sacramento, assisting members of the Street Enforcement Bureau with narcotics operations. And did you make a vehicle stop at approximately 11.05 p.m. that evening? Yes, I did. And where did you make that vehicle stop? At the southwest corner of Stockton Boulevard and 47th Avenue. And is that in the county of Sacramento? Sacramento. Yes, it is. And did you make contact with the driver of that vehicle? Yes, I did. And is that person who was driving the vehicle present here in court today? Yes, he is. Could you please point out where he is seated and what he's wearing? The driver of the vehicle is seated at the left end of council table wearing a tan shirt, dark colored pants, and white tennis shoes. Your Honor, may the record reflect he's identified the defendant in this case, Richard Gilbert, a liar? The record will so reflect. Thank you. When you made contact with the defendant, did you notice anything unusual about him? I detected a slight to moderate odor of alcohol about his person. He was somewhat unsteady as he exited the vehicle. And did you notice anything else other than the unsteadiness and odor of alcohol? His eyes were slightly bloodshot, but not excessively so. Anything else? Not to my recollection. And after you noticed these things, what did you do next? I asked Mr. Elyer for his driver's license. Did he produce one? He produced a California ID card. And did he make any comment to you when he produced the ID card? Pardon? As to why he was producing the ID card. I don't recall if he did or not. And after he gave you the California ID card, what did you do next? I believe I asked him if he'd been drinking. And do you recall if he responded to that? He told me that he'd not been. And what did you do next? I believe I gave the driver's license to my partner to run records check. When you say license, are you referring to this ID card you've been referring to? That's correct. I misstated my Myself. And did he run an ID check? Prior to his doing so, a CHP unit arrived on the scene. And at the time the CHP unit arrived on the scene, what did you do? We advised them of the circumstances and requested that they perform a field sobriety test on the driver, Mr. O'Lyer. And did you turn control of the situation over to the CHP officer at this time? That's correct. Thank you, officer. I have no further questions, Your Honor. Mr. Walton. Thank you. Officer, what caused you to make the vehicle stop in the first place? Objection, Your Honor. Relevance to this proceeding unless a 1538.5 is being declared. What drew your attention to the vehicle? You may answer that question, officer. We observed the vehicle pulling onto the roadway without his lights on. Pulling onto the roadway? Onto the roadway without his lights on. Okay, what direction and what roadway are you indicating? The vehicle was parked on the curb several houses south of Fruit Ridge Road on Sampson. S-A-M-P-S-O-N. And it pulled out on what street? Pulled out northbound on Samson without its lights on. Okay, it was not on Fruit Ridge at that time? No, it was not. Or I mean it was not on Stockton at that time? No, it was not. Okay, and how far is Samson where the car pulled out from the corner of Stockton 
and 47. I would say approximately a mile. So you followed the vehicle for one mile. We followed it from Sampson and Fruit Ridge to Stockton and 47. At any point in time, did the lights come on the vehicle? Yes, they did. Okay, when did the driver turn the lights on? As he turned eastbound onto Fruit Ridge Road. Okay, did you observe any erratic driving during that mile following the car? No, I did not. And did the vehicle go into a gas station or mini mart type area? Yes, it did. Okay, and is that where the driver got out of the vehicle? That's correct. And the driver got out voluntarily without you having to ask him to exit the vehicle? That's correct. Okay, um, we're changing material now. We have Mr. Johnson for the plaintiff and Mr. Cahill for defense. And um, to identify, I am Mr. Johnson for the plaintiff. I am the witness. I am the court. I'm defense attorney, Mr. Cahill. All right, so 14s. And Mr. Johnson is examining. For the record, please state your name. James Tony Robertson. Thank you. Please be seated. Just hand them over here, Mr. Robertson. Thank you. Mr. Robertson, what is your occupation? I'm a partner in the Jiffy Mart market in South Reading. And how long have you been a partner in the Jiffy Mart market? Since June 1981. And did you purchase the business at that time? Yes, I did. From whom did you purchase it? From James Anderson. And James Anderson is still your partner? Yes, sir. And do you have another partner now? Yes, we do. We have a third partner, Richard Anderson. And when did Mr. Richard Anderson buy into the business? Approximately seven years ago. And what was the purpose for his buying in? Well, at that time we had, we went through an adjustment period where we had Jim Anderson's son working for us and he was killed in an automobile accident and business was such that it warranted three people. And we felt that it was necessary to have a third person. So we sold a third of it to him. So there are now three partners? Yes, sir. And the Jiffy Mart store has been run by you and James Anderson and now you and James and Richard Anderson since 1981? Yes, sir. Now, when you learned that the road in front of your store was going to be closed, did you attempt to contact anyone from the city to see what could be done to mitigate the damages? Objection relevancy. Mitigate the damages. We're talking about efforts to relocate or avoid loss of the business. Correct. All right, overruled. You may proceed. Yes, we did. And who did you meet with? We met on several occasions with Bob Galloway, who is the head of public works for the city of Reading. And about how many meetings did you have with city people? Four or five, I believe. What were your concerns that prompted you to meet with people from the city? We felt the closure of the road in front of the store was going to be devastating to our business. Did it turn out to be devastating to your business? In my opinion, yes. Did you explain what the terms were? Yes, sir. We tried. We asked for different things to probably make it a little better. What types of things did you ask for? We asked for the right turn only to be left at Bonnie View. Why don't you, it's exhibit A, I think, if you can refer to that. There was a right turn here. We asked that it be left open so people coming this direction from Bonnie View could get into the store. That is people going west on Bonnie View? Yes, sir, west. And we also asked that right turn only going across the railroad tracks in the southerly direction that the store be left open. We requested a driveway on the new section which someone else has put in. It's not paved now on their property that would allow people to pull in and pull back out onto the new east side road. Now you have your hand on exhibit A and you're putting your finger on a driveway that is there? Well, it was in a similar area. It would have been on their property. You would come in and then exit going this way so that we felt some of the bigger trucks could pull in and pull back on the road. So you were asking for another exit? Yes, at this position right here, and we already asked for some lighting at the intersection where the old east side road and the new east side road connect. And we asked for some signs for sign permits. Were any of those requests granted? No, sir. Did anyone ever offer to relocate you or give you any relocation benefits? Objection calls for hearsay. Overall. Were you offered any relocation benefits from the city? No, sir. That would pay for a move? No, sir. And set you up in a new store? Objection leading. Overall. Did anyone ever do that? No, sir. No one from the city ever did that. And did they do anything to or agree to any requests that you made? They refused them. At one point, they told my partner. Objection hearsay. It doesn't sound as if you're, are you going to be quoting here in court of what somebody else said? 
Does the answer include a quotation from someone else? It's a letter. Sustained. You may approach it from another angle or foundationalize it. Now, did the city of Reading indicate to you what you could do to solve your problem? They didn't have any solutions. At one point, one meeting, Bob Galloway said that... Objection here, say. Your Honor, Bob Galloway is director of public works for the city of Reading and certainly a party to this. But I don't think that this particular aspect of the testimony bears on the issues that are in controversy, so I'll sustain. If you want to make an offer of proof outside the presence, you may do so. All right, we'll make an offer of proof later. All right. I don't want to interrupt the proceedings now. Now, do you recall when the road, the east side road in front of the store was barricaded? Barricade went up on October 21st and 22nd, 1991. And what happened to your business at that time? There was a drastic reduction. And reduction in what? In customers and dollars, everything. How did you determine there was a drastic reduction in customers? Well, we had a customer count previous to the road closure and then after the road closure. And in comparison, there was approximately 42%, I believe it was, reduction in customers immediately. Is the number of customers coming to Jiffy Mart, in your opinion, still down? Yes, sir. It's still down. 